Hello, hello, hello. Cool. We're going live, hopefully. Going live. It's all good. So at least Twitch is working. It's the main thing. And also YouTube is working as well. Excellent. All right then. Cool, so I'll wait for some of you guys to join. Uh, for anybody catching this, um, after the fact, we're going to be doing some interiors, actually. We are going to be doing some Lord's Port interiors, finally. Um, so the first time I've done a live stream in a while, guys. So do let me know if like the audio is too loud or the uh, background stuff's too loud, all that stuff. There we go. I can see a couple of you guys from YouTube. Um, Facuna Rodriguez, how's it going? Cheese biscuits. Uh, gas bed. Alan. Awesome. Lots of you guys. I got loads of comments coming through now, which is fantastic. So you can watch on uh, on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, I'm using Restream again, just giving it a go. Um, if we get any problems or anything like that, then we can always just switch just to using YouTube because that's where we are for the most part. But um, how's everybody doing? It's been it's been well. It was before the pandemic the last time I uh, I did a live stream, so <laughs> it's been quite a while. It's been a hectic you know year and a bit really, hasn't it? Absolutely crazy really crazy year and a half really but um yeah let me know how you guys are doing it'll take me a little while to respond to the chat because again i'm using restream to do twitch and uh, and youtube the comments come in like a big chunk and things like that hey bird i can see you on twitch man thank you very much for going on twitch that at least allows me to know that twitch is definitely definitely working uh which is good so yeah we're going to be doing some interiors um i've been saying about this like for absolutely Ages. Absolutely ages. Pretty hot in Finland. 35 degrees C. Really? Jeez, man. The world has gone crazy. That is crazy, Bectic. Um, yeah. Absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. But yeah, we're going to be doing some interiors. I've been saying about it for ages and I just never got around to it. Um, so, obviously, Lord's Port, the series that I've been doing. Um, there will be kind of spoilery-ish stuff coming up because I am a couple episodes ahead of where the uh, actual series is on YouTube, but it's not too bad. You know, it's um, it's not like anything major, really. I mean, as you can see, I've started to build on here. This is the next area that I've been working on, uh, and we finished up this area, which was a massive, uh, massive, kind of big chunk of area. Actually, I really like the garden. How that's turned out is is awesome. So I th can't remember if that's next episode or the episode after. It's something like that. Uh, but this whole area here, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so guys, I will be picking up comments as you pop them in. Um, I expect it'll be a little bit busier than I can actually answer them. So if I do miss your comment, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, it's just um, they, they fly past. So yeah. Uh, Cheese Biscuits saying about diagonal interiors being hard whenever I do them. They just look like straight ones. Yep, I do the exact same. Um, I do the exact same. Fakindo saying, uh, yeah, not spoilers, special preview. Very, very true. Very, very true. Does the castle have an interior already? Uh, it doesn't, Bextick. Um, they really don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, know, I know that sounds crazy, because like it, it's like the first building that I did here was this little castle. Um, it's kind of a mistake me doing this first, because scale-wise, these houses are bigger than this castle, but I'm going to just pretend that that's due to this being an early castle, an early fort, and then the town's expanded. Uh, we are going to have a castle at the end of East Point, uh, literally at the end of East Point, East Point, and also as one of... I'm going to try and make it so it's the last episode. Um, it's kind of difficult to to figure that out, though, uh, because I've got, obviously, this area here, and I'll probably have other areas around here, but I might just do that as gardens. I'm not totally sure, but that will be the end one, and that castle will be bigger, but no, no no interior at all on the castle. Uh, it's, it's blank. Um, I've done little bits of, like, uh, you know, like the stables we've got. We've got a little bit of the blacksmiths in here, um, but in terms of everything else, it's it's kind of very, yeah, it's kind of, you know, I've tried to do like bits of the hall here, uh, where we've got these hanging over, that needs to have some supports on it actually. Since we are doing interiors today, we can do little bits and pieces of other things. Oh, that doesn't line up. Oh, that's going to bug me so much. <laughs> it's just like, it's not even, uh, that's fine. Yeah, something like that, yeah, it needs some sort of structure. It looks a bit weird, but yeah, that'd be all good there we go so all of this is just kind of like plan wise I think and I really do think 
think there's stairs. I think I did the stairways in here. Yeah, I did, yeah. So I put in some stairs, at least. Um, there's like random little things like that, so I don't know. I want them to do that gap. Probably fill it up will be best. Oh, yeah, i got to figure out a way up to here. Um, and... Why can't I just knock through that, then? Why don't I just do that? This is not where I was planning on starting the interiors, but it'll be fine. Uh, what shaders do I use as Max White? Uh, I use Zeus, so um, I've, I like Zeus. Zeus Renewed 1.0.1 uh, are the ones that I usually use. I've also got, uh, I've kind of edited it quite heavily. Um, what I mean by that is I've just gone into these settings, changed some stuff. I've not done what I did before where I edit uh, the actual base files type stuff of them. Uh, I've not done that with this, with Zeus, but... Um, yeah, I've got a cave version of it. Um, all that is is just like the brightness turned up so that you can actually see inside caves. It's still not that bright, but uh, it's a little bit, a little bit better. But there you go. So yeah, the castle has like ways to get around into things. So that was, I think, what I've done here, and that's that's pretty much it. It is, it is blank. Uh, we need to kind of figure out what I want to do with it first. But yeah. Do you still plan to stick to the original plan with Lord's Port or finished East Point and call it a day? Um, I plan on doing a little bit more. Uh, Blaze the Dank Cush Pro, definitely. I definitely plan on doing more. Um, yeah, so it's, as, as you can see, it's, it's quite a lot to do. Um, the, I mean, the good news is that this section here, I've cut it off here. We've got this nice big area here for something. I can't remember what I did on the original plan. I need to go and watch that video again and get up my original plan in order to figure out what I'm actually going to be doing there. Um, but I kind of want to get to a cathedral. I've wanted to do a giant cathedral for like ages. Ages and ages. And I'm thinking this area here would be good for it. So yeah, I, I at least want to get onto this section. Um, might be... And one of the reasons is actually... Yeah, actually over here since we're over on this side. Um, I love this little area right here. Um... I'll just turn my render distance up a tiny smidgen. Tiny, tiny smidgen. Um, it'll probably get a little bit laggy with me streaming. To be fair, it's not too bad today. Um, but this area here is just like a perfect little fishing harbour. Um, so I'm going to extend this wall here. We're going to actually build an artificial harbour wall going around. Um, then have this bit here. So I 100% want to do that part of it. Um, the problem is that, you know, once I've done that, I'll, I'll extend the wall around to like here as well so I'm I might as well build a bit more <laughs> you know so it's one of those but you know we I do have some more plans um, yeah it's kind of a bit strange mortal grape uh, have you tried to use 1.17 blocks not yet I need to make sure all my mods are up to date uh, before we upgrade because I'm building it on a server um, so we are on a server um, yeah which is it's, to be fair the server's mostly for speed. It's usually faster to build in a, a bigger kind of thing on a server. Um, in general, it's crazy as it sounds. The network isn't too bad. Um, but also then, you know, Patreons and YouTube members, people like that can come in and have a look at the progress as it goes on. Um, so that's that's one of the biggest benefits of it. But um, yeah, until everything gets up to date, um, we'll have to wait for that really. Um, but yeah, I do want to do more. Um, I definitely do want to do more. Obviously not as many castles, that's the main thing. So we'll have, you know, castle there, castle there. This whole thing's going to be a gigantic castle. Um, there might... Uh, I was thinking about doing a fort either here or doing a fort type thing here. Um, it might be worth more worth to do it here because then we'll have a gate there or something. I have no idea. But uh, anyway, let's get into some interiors. And I'll, I'll try and chat to you guys as we go along. Um, Cheese Biscuit says, uh, loved a ship tutorial for a flute. Well, why and a T? I don't know what type of style that is. Um, as bizarre as it is, although I do the chip tutorials, uh, my actual knowledge on them is terrible. Like I just can't. I, I look it all up on my phone, uh, learn a load of it, and then then it's just gone. So um, <laughs> you'll have to forgive me that I don't know what type that actually is. But um, we can have a look at it. It depends on how big it is. The the bigger they are, the the more of a pain in the butt they are. So this I've already apparently done a cellar in here. Um, I know that I've done bits of this place, so that's the main thing. Um, the reason I'm starting with here, oh there we go, look, I've even put some helpful notes to myself. Top floor of the tavern seating, maybe a few rooms to break up the space a bit. Yeah, that does, definitely does need some room space. Um, thank you very much, the Baguette Slayer, for following me on Twitch, by the way. Thank you. Um, it's the same with any any stuff, I've got the notifications on. I'm glad they're still working, I wasn't sure if they would or not. I think we need some toilets in here, um, and this upper section as well. Just making sure, because we're inside anyway, it doesn't really matter how many... Oh, that's better. That's a little bit better. 
And also account Nick Crazy as well. Thank you very much for following me on Twitch. There we go. We're gonna get loads of them now, aren't we? Just so I say you guys' name now, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind at all. Um, and again, if you if you prefer following or watching on one of the platforms, then that's the reason I stream on both. It's um, nice and simple. So um, I haven't got any sort of like you know Twitch. It's one of those things. If I stream more regularly, I would love to just stream on Twitch because um, then I oh no I'm. Got myself trapped, haven't I? Because <laughs> then I'd. Um, what am I going to get? Wait a minute, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Um, yeah, if I could do it all on Twitch, I would do. Because then, um, like the the rate of um, what's it called the like advertising rates, things like that for streamers, is a lot good. Optimex, thank you very much, buddy. Um, yeah, I would definitely do it just on Twitch, but at the minute. Doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, the videos on demand. I always want them to be on YouTube, though. Because that is the main place where people come and see me, so they'll always be up on YouTube. It looks a bit weird, that, doesn't it? Oh. It'll do. And then this is the in rooms. Okay. And up here in quarters, staff rooms, and things like that. To be fair, they got a nice view. I haven't been up here since I like, completed most of it. King Turnell, thank you very much, buddy. Uh, I don't mind as long as you guys are following me. I don't really, I don't really mind. Um, Keep on, keep on following me, and I'll keep on calling your name out. It's the same with any of the notifications, super chats, um, whatever like that. I'll, I'll give you guys a shout out. Right. So let me get to uh, Dada's Gaming. I remember you, J S K Archer? I'm pretty sure I do remember Archer. Can't remember if it was J S K. So if you were already on my streams before, then I probably do know you. <laughs> so that's one of those. Um, I used to know every single person that followed me, but that was back when I had like a hundred. When I had 100 subscribers, it was a lot easier uh, for people that commented all the time, definitely, but at the minute, madness. Um, Cheese Physics tried to build building some of my own world, but they ended up looking very streamlined. Yeah, be messy. Be messy. Do not be afraid to make it look like it doesn't fit. Um, I'll show you little bits of that, uh, like, like these two. These two buildings are like really crammed into each other. Really crammed. This one, like, you know, cuts into the roof massively. That's totally fine. Any of that's fine. Who did I miss? Rao980. Uh, I missed somebody. I don't know where you are. No! <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry, man. I don't know if there's any way I can have a look at it. But I can't. That sucks. Um, but yeah, don't be don't be worried about it all looking like a mess or like crammed together. Um, not all the houses are going to be perfect. Some of them are going to look weird. Um, like the main thing for me with angled buildings was that actually it looks really good from afar. When you got close, it kind of you're like, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, you know. And you you kind of look at it that way. So yeah, it's the it's the way that it is. But it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the way that you've Learn to build. The best way to learn to build is by making mistakes, learning from them. And if you have the time and you feel that it's something that you want to redo, then redo it. Um, but if you don't, then don't. I know that sounds a bit simple, but uh, that is honestly what what I think you guys should do. Is is don't be don't get too caught up with making it perfect. You won't make something perfect. Probably. I mean, there might be some really good builders out there that just just nail it every time. Um, Toilets, I think, definitely. This is where angled buildings come a pain. So I usually use good old composters because I can make them look absolutely disgusting. Uh, so we're going to go with that. So I can have some toilets in the back here. Um, I'll try and answer some more comments as well while I'm doing stuff. Um, George Taylor, would you make the cathedral gothic medieval or like Italian medieval with a domed roof? Good question. Um, so in the future, I do want to do like a Venice type city because I went to Venice a couple of years ago. Uh, it was amazing, um, absolutely amazing. Does that look right? I want to try and make it look a little bit different, but, uh, but kind of cheapy cheap. Yeah, this looks alright. Um, so I do want to do like a Venice type city. Um, I have been to Florence as well. So and and obviously the Duomo there is pretty amazing. Um, so there's also that, but uh, I think probably, I mean, my the the city that I live in. Uh, to explain this a little bit more with with English words, um, which is Truro, that has got a cathedral in it, and that is kind of like a Gothic style cathedral or something similar to Gothic style. Um, it's got features anyway, and I've always wanted to build it. I have built versions of it in the past um, that have never been very good, and um, I kind of want to build a, a kind of inspired version of that, but go a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be a block there, but you know do couple different things. I could actually go to there because this is all wasted space anyway. 
Um, yeah, so I want to do one of those kind of versions, but you know, it depends. I think it depends on the space, um, and it depends on what I want to do. It's going to take a long time to build that. I mean, that's that's you've got to remember that um, in terms of where we are, we have got this whole section, and then this section is where I'm thinking of building it. So that is like times three of this, but uh, we can do more space in here. We can have this more cramped. Maybe open up a couple more courtyards, things like that, around that area to um, to make it a little bit easier. Because um, it really does make it quite easier. Uh, no, we don't want to have fancy doors in this. This is a this is a pub. I want to have rubbish doors. There you go. Send some toilets. So there you go. Uh, Sander uh, Engelhart, uh, when are you going to switch to 1.17 um, with the new deep slate and stuff? As soon as I can. So um, if all the mods are done and all of the server plugins are done. Then, um, then that'd be amazing. Uh, I don't know if it is yet. Uh, honestly, I haven't checked. I've been on a couple of weeks of annual leave, so just coming back, I'm not totally sure what we've what we've actually got um, available. Put this in the corner. It's going to be. Gonna, I'm going to make this one disgusting. It's right in the, dis the corner, isn't it? Let's get some. Yeah, it's right full. Um, so anyway, to like. Yeah, I know what you can do. Some carpet. It's going to look disgusting. So it's about. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'll let this one's around the corner as well. Of course, because it's all angled, isn't it? Right, there we go. These are pretty full, but, uh, you know, they'll be fine. Don't ask where they're, wash where they're washing their hands. I guess we'll put a cauldron in uh, somewhere. But, uh, who knows? Who knows? Right, sorry, if I'm missing people's comments, um, it's just every time I check, they have already disappeared around. Um, so far, I've built two mediocre quality cities on my kingdom called Testokia. Um, they won't be mediocre at all. Um, I actually looked back at some of my stuff that I built, and um, some of it was terrible. Don't get me wrong. Like I'd done a, a like a, a modern city grid view, grid not grid view, grid um, like layout. But um, yeah, it just it looked so weird. It was like I did like square grids, and I, it, it honestly looked like a plot world. Um, but that didn't mean that it was bad. It just you know there was some actual pretty interesting buildings there. But you could tell that I was learning how to build. So I had these really strange roofs where they just didn't... There's a lot of slabs and stairs in them. You could tell that I was trying to figure out how to make whatever I'd built fit, rather than doing like multiple peaked roofs and things like that, and having um, like multiple A-frames that are intersecting. I was just trying to do it all as one and just like make it all smooth. It was weird. It was so weird. So they won't actually be mediocre. When you look back at them, you might go, I can build better than that, which is good if you can. Um, but... It doesn't really matter at all. It really doesn't matter. It's like I look back at Kliptoff and I go, these are tiny little houses. But then that's part of the charm of that little town, you know? Um, and part of the style and me learning how to do that style or trying to make up a style. And, and then when I came into here, you know, I I went a bit crazy. Um, but, you know, from my first couple buildings to the, the ones I do now, I'm so much more confident with angled buildings. Um, I couldn't have done that without, well, without, you know, building so um, yeah it's always good to good to have a look cheese biscuits they're both around the size of East Point good man awesome because um, honestly this is the biggest project I've ever done and actually not stopped uh, that's my main problem I usually end up just giving up and then doing something else I'm gonna put some trash up here that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some stuff up here let's put a loom in there and a barrel and uh, a chest um, definitely uh, what mods and plugins am I waiting for on updating? So mods wise, uh, shaders, if they're all looking good, hopefully they are. I, I should have been looking out for shader upgrade update because I usually do a video on it, um, but I haven't. So I don't know. Hopefully shaders are done, which is Optifine. Um, that's the main mod as well as voxel map. Uh, I just really like it. Uh, it's not a, not required though. So it's one of those that I love being able to just look and go, ah, this is where that is and that's where that is. or. You know, as I'm building like a path through here, for example, I can see it on the map uh, and go through. But, you know, as long as DyneMap as a plugin is still working, that works the same way. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, oh, what plugins have we got? Loads of plugins. Uh, plots is one of them. Though we use the new plots, so I just have to compile that from GitHub myself. Um, so as soon as that is up to, up, updated, I'll just, I'll just do a compile. Um, and that'll be fine because they switch the, the way that they do things uh, to, I think to try and push people down the support route um, Which is a bit annoying because I think they'll actually lose out in the end over it. I wonder if I've got these uh, tankards anywhere. I have been Storing them every so often in a chest somewhere the player heads this is Yeah uh, Maybe 
Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I've got all of them. Yeah, no, I've not got any of them. Fantastic. Um, oh, I think, actually, this is like, this might be my memory from a year ago. I think I might have put them in, a deba in the basement. I really do. Oh. Oh. Is that the... Oh, that's to close the basement. Right, that's what I was thinking with that. I think I put them... Yeah, look at that. See? I know what I'm doing. Obviously. Um, there we go. Right, okay. So we did put them in there. Okay, so I have these. Um, I kind of like this as a, as a little wall thing. Uh, we could probably do... Yeah, because it's just a big area at the minute. It's not really very good. We definitely want to have some sitting out area, though. Uh, this is where I'd, I'd be chilling out, definitely. Especially, you know... Well, not the mini. Um, the UK is terrible. Oh, replay mod. Yes, uh, Sander. Replay mod is definitely one that I need. Um, World Edit is only in beta. Um, I actually use the plugin version of it, so it might be okay. It's usually the spigot or, or bucket plugin. Uh, I mean, the same kind of thing. Um, usually they work uh, or they're done a lot, a lot sooner. So hopefully that's the case. But uh, yeah, it's things like that. Um, I want to be able to walk around here, really. So. The problem as soon as I put down the thing here. Actually, this was when I was doing it that way. I could just do that. They don't need to join up, really. It just takes up too much space, really, doesn't it? Alright, so uh, knock out that. That around this corner doesn't really matter, though. That's fine. Yeah, because that allows me to put this in here. There we go. And I can't put a thing there. Which one do I go with? I went with the foamy beer. Let's go with the empty med medieval beer, then, for that. But yes, replay mod. Replay mod and shaders are the big two. Um... And then I need world edit for server plus multi world. Uh, M, what's it called? What's it called? The multiverse. Multiverse. I'm pretty sure it's called multiverse. Something like that. I don't know. I just need to go through. I've got a whole list that I usually go through, check them all, do a backup um, of the whole server, it, it, put them all in, see if there's anything going wrong. If it hasn't, then cool. We're on the version. If not, I'll roll back the whole whole server to the previous version. Um, so that's the main thing that I need to do. Um, it usually takes me a couple of hours at least. So yeah, that's the that's the main thing. Uh, Doc Smash eighty eight says, um, "Good to see you streaming, bud. Hope you're well." Yeah, not too mad, bad, man. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I've streamed. Very, very long time. Um, before the pandemic started, or was even a thing. Um, to be fair, before it was even a thing. So I think I might do a little room in here. It's almost like a conference room type thing. I know that well, that's not really anything, but yeah, something like that. And we'll do it all angled as well. A little conference room thing in here. Be... What's gone wrong? Uh... <laughs> I think it's because I put these beams not in an actual square pattern, which is is normal to be fair. So that's that's why that's doing that. Okay, well let's try it like this then. So we don't need a really big room, do we? You just need a pretty small room like that. It'll just split the room up uh, a little bit. That's the main thing. Just split it up a bit. The stash of heads, cheese biscuit says. It, absolutely. Uh, Sammy boy, 320. Hey man, just want to say massive thanks for getting me through the start of lockdown last year. Spent a couple of weeks building the Stardust Drive from your guide. Awesome man. Um, I'm glad that that was useful for you. I know it's been it has been a very tough year. Um, it has really been a tough year. It's just it's one of those. I think, you know, I, I remember it because I was like, looking back on <laughs> looking back at things as you do. Um, the panic that that like we were just all in was just like what, what is this thing and what does that actually mean? Yeah, like I think that was the biggest part for a lot of people was what does this actually mean? You know, for us, for for our lives, for for anything. Um, it's, a, it's a very strange, strange experience. Um, it still is to be fair because <laughs> um, we're still like I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Not really, um, you know. Everything's still changing, and I, th I think it's going to be a little bit crazy for a couple, couple more years um, at least. Um, there'll be regular vaccination programs across the world uh, that will that will bring things into normal normality. I think. I think it's just going to take take a little while. Um, oh, this is a nice little room as well. Might be on the toilets. Um, <laughs> terrible view, but uh, you know, maybe we maybe turn that into a room. Yeah, let's turn this into a room. Do you want to make it an actual room room, like a, you know, an in room, or should we just make it a room? I think we just have these as just two little rooms. So these will just be, yeah, yeah, we'll just go with them as little rooms. So whether you rent them out or whatever, or you have a little party or something, I don't know. Who knows how this all works? 
Um, so maybe we just got that. Maybe it's always oh, could be guilds and things like that could be coming into here. We had some paintings. Um, we could have actually done with that lantern that I just got rid of. Hmm, so done. Um, so I'll grab some comments in a second as well. I'll just get so room done. I could do with not that there. That's why I always build an order. Um, let's go for that as being the angle, and then we can put one in the middle there. And we can do a painting. And I'll read some comments. See what you guys are doing, saying about whatever, all that stuff. Right, well, ah, right there we go. Okay, it's a little bit big that. Um, just wipe that there to to block this. There we go. I'll do. That's a bit harsh, really, doesn't it? Mm. Maybe not so keen on that one. <laughs> Skull one. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. That's nice. And that one there. There we go. So, these two in here. Nice little room. Uh, let's put a plant in here as well. Let's get a flower pot. Let's get a dead bush. And, well, I'm about to do that. Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Florita Testokia. <laughs> oh, what is that game? Astokka? Was it Astokka? Papers, please. I've got a feeling it's papers, please, isn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> Fantastic. I remember the Yogscast. I think it was I think it was um, Lewis that was playing that. Lewis and Simon on the Yogscast. Pretty sure that's where I watched that game. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. There we go. Look, nice little plant thing in there. That doesn't look too bad. There we go. We'll call that the uh, something sweet. I don't know. If you guys... Room of Doom, yeah. If you guys have a name for it, I, I'm more than happy to re like name it a room. If we want to go with like names for these rooms, um, you can get your name on something then. At least, that'd be quite good. Uh, right. Who else do I need to say hello to and all that kind of stuff? Um, so, Phrase Gaming, really love builds. Uh, never really finished my own city builds, uh, but you inspire me to finish them. Neither do I, man. Um, honestly, this is the furthest I've ever gone. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm there with you. Completely. Um, I am not a completer of any kind. So that looks terrible. I think it's because of the the same material. Did I why didn't I have this problem before? Hmm. I mean, this is the problem with angled buildings. This is a nightmare. See this looks fine. I think it's because you can see the dark the dark wood. Did I just build that one up double with dark wood? Yeah I did on that side. Okay. It's a little bit um out of the style, isn't it? But you can, it still looks okay because you can see that dark one down there. Ah, oh, Stocko is the country from Paper Speed. It is. I thought so. I totally thought so. Thanks for, for confirming that my memory actually works. Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, Leonid Kulakov, uh, will you do some version of tour around Pataria before switching to 1.17? No. No, the plan will be just continue. What I will probably do, um, so normally I do a tour with uh, Zarius. Um, or, or Zyridius now, as, he, as he's called, because uh, I keep on forgetting that. Um, I do need to finish up some areas of this, and as I finish up areas, I'll do a tour with Zarius, or Zyridius, um, for sure. Um, I've still got to do River... What do I call it? River Hold? River... Hmm. Whatever I called this one. <laughs> That's so bad. How have I forgotten? It's called Riverside. There we go. River something. I knew it was River something. Uh, so River something. Riverside. Um, I need to still do that. And and that's not actually that far off completion. Really, I should be doing a live stream on that because then I can have a tour of them. But yeah, I will do bits of tours. Um, it's it's going to take a long time. Um, it's pretty big. Um, if I just wander you through, like, you know, we did this whole area in like a couple episodes, but it's huge. Really, it is quite massive um, and a mess and really... Well, apparently there's a pond there, like a little thing. Um, it's just all like all these little back street type things that you don't get to see on the on the videos of how we actually get up into into each of these apartments it is mad. Um, I have tried to do that all the way through. It takes ages, but you know it's like just little doors into like here, so we're gonna have an apartment there. But we've also got a door on this side, so this then comes up to around here. This you know, like wraps around. There's another door there. You know um, all of that. That's why I need to start doing interiors as part of these live streams. And to be fair, interiors work really well for live streams because I can just chat to you guys. And uh, if it takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer. But yeah, um, it's getting it all done to do a proper tour. Um, you know, we've got the rat's tail in here. Uh, which, by the way, guys, if you do name them in um, 
on those videos when I ask you for names, you do get your name in the actual build, and it'll always be there for you. Um, so that's the rat's tail. That's cool. But yeah, as you can see, like all this is just... <laughs> it's, it just looks mad. You know, all these little little areas through here, and this thing goes off onto one, and you go down into like the weird little marketplace that we've got in, in, the, in the more lower class district. And it comes up to the church, as you probably saw from those episodes anyway. But it, it's all just this mad thing. Do you still build a John Smith text pack? No, haven't done for about five years. I uh, haven't used John Smith. I used um, Conquest um, text pack mod uh, probably three years ago. Three years ago, I want to say something like that. Um, but I haven't used it for a good two, I think. So it's just been it's just been nice default vanilla. Oh, I'm showing you the, the area I'm starting to build. I haven't even finished this. Look, so this is what happens, by the way, guys. A uh, little bit of little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Um, so during the time lapse, I will show you. This side of it, um, I do not put on anything in that time lapse on this side of it. Um, I have to actually come back, and it takes me, well, about about the same time as it is to do the facade on that side. On this side, uh, I have to come and do it all. So yeah, so that's why there's like little gaps here missing. But that will all be finished up before that last fly through that I do. Um, it does take a little while, definitely. This one looks quite chunky, doesn't it? I think it's because I pushed it forwards off of the off the frame. It looks a little bit weird, but um, it'll be fine. I want to do some archways again. So they're quite big, um, but there you go. Some some behind the scenesy stuff, yeah. All the all that stuff around here, and obviously I need to paint this um, and replace the replace the the uh, orange wall. But I'm going to do that as part of that that episode. We need to get back to it anyway. So anyway, right. Else we got Linda Lord Backer's back back. Yes, I am. Well, streaming anyway. I've been back for with videos for quite a while. Obviously I had a break um, for quite a while, so that was um, that was actually the, the pandemic to be fair. So um, I work in the National Health Service, um, so not surprisingly we, we were a bit busy and uh, <laughs> and I was <laughs> just spending all my time working instead, um, especially in the first first wave in the UK. Um, that was where all my time was spent, uh, was just at work. Um, I think we're just going to do this by the way guys, with this room. It's gonna, we're just going to cram it. It's not going to be used. Oh, actually, yeah, of course. You can just walk through here. So technically, you can make it look like people were sat down. But they can walk through these. So that kind of works. Um, there we go. Let's get some plates down as well. I haven't got anything for food, have I? Let's not do that with that. Let's do wooden plates. Oh, yeah, because of oak already. All right, let's go with uh, jungle wooden plates. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay. Um, we do have light in there. A thingy. Lantern. And if we go for there, yeah, I spent so much of my time working, oh, it's ridiculous. But I mean, it's all worth it, it's all worthwhile stuff, it's just, I'm glad it's done. <laughs> all that work, I'm glad it's all done and working, um, but yeah, cool. Right, so we need to do something in this area. What did I do downstairs? I know I had lots of tables, didn't I? Yes, I've got lots of tables downstairs um, and stuff. We've got a little... Oh, we could do another bar, couldn't we? That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's... Um, have we got anywhere I can put a chest just temporarily to put these in? Because I have a tendency of just like clearing my bar and then I'll lose all my, all my player heads. Um, oh, excellent. We put one in earlier. Here's one we did earlier. Um, just because I'm thinking of grabbing all those things. We'll put a bar upstairs as well. That makes quite a bit of sense to me, anyway. Whether it actually makes any sense or not um, is another thing entirely. But uh, to me, that will that will definitely work. Let's grab that, let's grab that, let's grab that, let's grab that, let's grab that. Yep, that. Oh, look, we've got a nice little uh, furnace as well. So, of course, they can do some food of some kind. Should be good. Those traboules are actually awesome. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm sure I should know what that means, but I have no idea what that means. Right, where's a good place to put in a bar? Obviously this is the poopy side of things. Yeah, kitchen to make food. I know, that's another thing, isn't it? We could have really used... Um, should we use this room for it? I know that we... I know this looks like the best room. Or should we actually, because this is a rubbish room. Tell you what, yeah, no, that's a really good idea, um, Leonid. That's a really good idea. Let's let's go with your idea. We're gonna trash this. Although it's got like the biggest window. 
but you are totally right. We need a kitchen. We need some food in here. This is kind of at the back. This will be like the, the party room because it just looks better. It just looks way better. Uh, got all the toilets in here. Food, kitchen, thing in here. Good plan. Um, but yep. What's your favourite town you built so far? It's definitely Lordsport um, out of all of them. Um, either that or, or River river thing, Riverside. Um, Riverside I quite like just because of the Skyrim-esque-ness about it. I mean, I, I built... Riverwood or a version of it in Conquest a very very long time ago. I was never happy with it um, Whereas the kind of version of it, which is you know, not it's not laid out the same But the buildings are all based off of um, Off of Skyrim-esque buildings um, those I'm really happy with how they've turned out um, But otherwise it'll definitely be Lordsport. I think out of all of Lordsport is the most complete most It's got most my kind of character in it, but which is quite a a messy style. Um, I'm not an overly clean builder, so I don't know, it has that raw kind of craziness uh, to it. And it has all these kind of like, you know, like like areas like this that you don't really get to see in those videos. And you're like, just where the archway kind of works and you walk down the street and then it kind of opens up. It's just got like the, lots of these little areas. Um, and I really like them. Um, they just like look quite good and they open up and it'll be even better when you can't see anything but but uh, see um, Even better um, I think that's the reason why I like it so much and there's my little attempt at a tiny little man statue I don't think it looks that bad. I think I did all right with it um, for a little little dude in front of the front of the arena but yeah Cool, right, anyway, yeah, kitchen, 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 kitchen. Uh, Treble is from the Italian transambulare via Volga Latin trabulare, meaning to cross a typical a type of secret covered passageways known only to your locals, primarily associated with the city of Lyon, France. Ah, ah cool. Or Lyon, sorry, Lyon, France. Fair dues. Um, Ninth Aquila, where well, you built all of Lordsport like you envisioned in your first Lordsport video. Or will you only get to get um, only get East Point? Um, definitely 100% get East Point. Um, I will finish this up. Uh, the reason being that you know I'm about. That's weird. That little square box around there. Oh, it's because the grass doesn't grow back. I was thinking like, what is going on there? Um, yeah, so definitely we'll finish East Point because this is the bit I'm doing at the minute as part of the next episode. I don't know how many of these buildings will be part of the next episode. Big castle on here, and then probably a bit here. It's just whether, whether this kind of is the castle, and then we have gardens at the back. Because I have like locked off this little area around here. I can't remember if if you guys get to see that or not on the on the time lapse. This is where it gets confusing for me, or will get confusing for me. Um, but yeah, it all gets locked off around a little wall. Um, it might be something that I open up later on, and we have have things going around here. It's just, it's not really. I don't want to like cram stuff into into everywhere so it's like do I actually make this as part of like a little private um, garden for the the priests and stuff or, or put in like a little I don't know like more crypt type stuff you know like a bigger version of that but have a bigger crypt around here uh, for like the early kings for example you know something like that um, and that's the same around here like down there what do I do that um, obviously this wall will come up to to around there and then join onto the main castle uh, but you can see the outline of where I want the castle roughly uh, it's going to be there. So we'll definitely do um, East Point, 100%. Uh, it's going to happen. Um, I want to do more. Um, definitely want to do more. But it is a very big project. So, um, you know, the little fishing village, 100% wants to do that. So I'll at least get into this area here, which is just going to be around this bit here. Um, probably put a nice, um, uh, what's it called, lighthouse on there. All that stuff. But, yeah. Is there any reason why St. Helena's roof is the only one that colour? Um, no, I mean, it's supposed to be that copper kind of patina type of thing. Um, I've put it, the other patinas in other buildings. I, I guess it's just a cost thing. Like, when I look at my own city, which is, you know, quite quite old, um, the only one that's got that kind of roof or has got those kind of roofs is actually the cathedral. Even the, even the churches don't have a copper patina type of roof. Um, so it, I, I think it depends on... On cost, it's always one of those things. Um, for me, it was to make it stand out. So I wanted, you know, it's like um, with the tower, the Merchant Guild tower. I wanted that to have this kind of like very bright kind of uh, sandstony colour, and then have this very pointed roof. I wanted that to be like a standing out feature. Um, same with the the uh, what's it called? 
uh, this thing, arena. Um, I wanted to do that out of stone rather than out of marble just because of local materials because there isn't a lot of white rock around here. So to, to me that just made more sense but with this, uh, with the church, I wanted to make it seem different than the rest of the rest of the buildings, pretty much. That's, that's my kind of reasoning anyway. Um, ooh, can we... Oh, there really is. I was thinking, ooh, can we put a window in here? And apparently I've already got there and done that. So, yeah. Cool. How's it going, Reese Rockstar? How's it all going? we got a good number of people watching on YouTube. 47 people and free on Twitch, which I think is going to be quite good. Faith, bro, make tech it videos. Oh, dude, I know. Um, I have been meaning to do tech it videos for ages. Um, the next set of them, I can tell you this, the next set will be focusing on space. I want to go to, um, I want to build a st space station in tech it. Um, it's just learning all that stuff. The problem with, the problem with tech it, uh, I love it, right, but I have to learn everything and some of them are really easy, so like the, whatever the tools were, the red power tools or, or whatever, that was so easy for me to learn, um, but the space stuff, I need to learn it properly because I, I, what I don't want to do is like spend a whole episode where we fail to go to space. <laughs> So I usually like try and get all the materials sorted beforehand. I love these blast furnaces, by the way. I'm, I much prefer them to normal furnaces, but I actually think maybe we should have a bit of a mix because um, they do look a little bit evil. Um, right, so we'll have something like this. I'm not going to pipe this up to upstairs. We'll just put some chimneys on and then we'll pretend that it'll all sorts itself out. Gonna have the nice like hob thing over there. Um, but yeah, I totally do need to get back onto tech it videos. Um, it's just it's just a case of time. It's it's having the time to sit down. I've got like a creative world as well on my on my tech it install, where I like figure out how everything works. Um, and it is just the space stuff. Um, there is some pretty good tutorials though. Um, every time I watch them though, like I, it's a lot. It they make it seem a lot easier than it actually is. <laughs> so that's the only problem that I've had is that I'm always like getting lost. Um, oh, actually, we could put in. Nice little cleaning station, just thinking. This is where angled buildings work, you know, because you can have these like little things. And yeah, don't ask how this water's all like plumbed into this. I mean, it's all magic, right? So, um, I'd just rather make it look like it's actually got some taps on it than not. Uh, not that. There we go. So we've got some things so they can wash up stuff. Uh, this little thing here, we'll have a little area to um, obviously prepare stuff. Things like that. Let's get that. Um, but yeah, go to space. I need to do that because uh, I don't want to. What I don't want to do is have that as a dead episode, a dead series. But at the minute, it kind of is. So totally get that. But uh, yeah, cool. Just a tra attributed evilness to a blast furnace, probably. Yeah, yeah. I just think no. I, I, what I mean is they look a little bit more. Um, I mean, when you look at them, like like that's like more of a sad face, right? It's like a robot sad face. Uh, whereas this is more, you know, it's more like a, like a muscle car. It's kind of like that's what it looks like, uh, to me. <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense. Pulse Decay, love your Lord Sport series or Lord Sport videos. Definitely not Lord Sport. Um, although somebody pointed that out to me like early on, and I went, oh god, yeah, yeah, I see that now. <laughs> so funny. It's just like you just don't, you know, when when you like Lord Sport, Lord Sport. Um, when you actually like, um, you know, just think about it, you, it's it's fine. But um, when you first read it, like, I think it's one of those things. It's like uh, Brown's Word and Brown Sword. If you had, if you saw that written, you'd you'd be able to see it both ways. Uh, very very similar. So yeah. Will there be a vineyard? Um, so it's cheese biscuits. Um, vineyard wise. I don't know if there will be one on this island. I th there is going to be, oh, there is plans, and I've been doing bits of it, but I keep on getting sidetracked with other stuff. Um, there are plans to do like a southern, more Mediterranean, like Italy type type of place. Um, so I'm thinking that will probably be. Uh, do we need? Yeah. Well, they're going to have some cooking wine type stuff, aren't they? Um, you know, just have that going up there. So. I'm what else are they going to have in barrels, to be fair? No, they're not going to have it in barrels like that. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's just on barrels like this. I mean, a composter as well. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on having another island, and that island will have... Uh, probably have more vineyards, that type of stuff. Because what I, what I don't want to do is have it where... 
Although it's like quite easy to, to, to go down that route, it's where you have, you know, a really varied kingdom. We have lots of stuff everywhere. Um, I want to try and make it so that it's a little bit more... Um, well, we've got a trade network, so, you know, only certain things appear in certain places. Um, like like white stone, so you know in the in the Italian types thing we're gonna have quite a bit of um, white stone in those rocks. I th actually, I'm doing that in the north as well. To be fair, so yeah, different areas will have different things and they'll have different ex exports of some kind. So you can actually get like what would be real trade trade routes going on. Uh, so no no to a vineyard in the Lordsport area or probably on this island. There could be small ones, but um, not any major ones just due to the the size of things. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah. Will there be a graveyard? There already is. There already is just out on this side here. Uh, so that's covered in one of the episodes that's already up on Lordsport. A um, little bit of a graveyard. I, it might have been called like something like graveyard. It was just after the uh, church episode. St. Elena's. So that's what was going on. What is Lord Sport? Uh, Lord Sport was the all day football. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. And I forgot as well, it is football later today as well, so I guess you guys will probably, or might be watching that as well. But uh, not for me. Um, not Football is definitely not for me. It's one of those. So I won't. I will be giving it a miss this time round. Um, even though England is in the final, which I think is amazing actually to be fair. They've done good. So I think there'll be quite a lot of hype. Uh, I expect I'll be hearing about it all in, in work tomorrow. Uh, even though you work from home, uh, I'll still be hearing about it. <laughs> It's going to be one of the talking points, I think, because um, it definitely was last last week when uh, was it last week that I got into the semi uh, was doing the semi finals or something. I can't remember. I really can't remember. But um, you know, they've done good. I have to say that you know, I haven't done it for a long time. Don't know why, but uh, maybe it's just a thing. I should do a sewer. Yes, there are plans for sewers and uh, criminal underworld, shanty town, and sewers. All that kind of stuff is all planned. Um, the reason I don't want to start that before I've done more interiors, I can do a tour of like the the overworld with um, with Cyrus, and and if I if it's just the overworld and I give up, I'm happy with that. What I've done in the past is spent a lot of time on the underworld, but not on the overworld. So then you like you go into a building and it's just totally blank, or it's half done, or you know it's just that's it. You know it's just it's just rubbish. Um, but then underneath, like there's a big city and it looks really cool. So it just it ends up being like. Like it just looks like I've spent the wrong amount of time on a certain place, so that's why I will do that last, um, definitely. So that is the, the main thing, right? So we got some food and stuff in there. I mean, it's it's fine as a kitchen; it'll do. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I should watch it because England might never make it again. Nah, it it just doesn't interest me. I cannot watch a game. Uh, it just has no. There's nothing, nothing at all does nothing for me, <laughs> like honestly. Um, I've never made it through a game of uh, football or rugby. It just doesn't interest me. It's um, simple as that. I wouldn't mind like playing football, no problem. Um, I'm totally behind people that play football. Watching it, couldn't do it. Um, it's, it sounds strange, I think, but it's because I, I quite like, um, I don't know, I just, uh, I like doing things. That makes sense, you know, doing stuff like, um, like, uh, you know, many years ago I used to do um, do Taekwondo, for example, Taekwondo, so so fighting and things like that. I was thinking of where I'm going to put a little bar type thing. Uh, I might actually put it over here. I know that we weren't going to do it by the bathrooms, it's just otherwise it's just going to be a sitting area. So I think we'll do it here. Um, and we'll have... Did I not pick that one up? No, I didn't. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed like doing sports and things like that. It's just... Um, other than that, just doesn't really do it. We'll have, yeah, it's a mini bar here where... Uh, it's not going to be that facing that way. I mean, it's going to be facing this way, where people can come and at least get whatever this cake of beer is. Um, when it's really busy, I think it'll be one of those that only gets, only really comes up when they're really busy, definitely. So it'll be quite good. Where am I from? The UK. I am from the UK, uh, in particular England. But um, yeah, so I'm from, from or live in and from, to be fair, um, a county called Cornwall, um, which is similar, very similar to, um, it's kind of like in the south. Uh, the way that I try to like, like to explain Cornwall is, um, so the Celts, when they were running away from the Romans, because of course everyone was, um, the Celts actually came to 
Cornwall and Wales and Scotland and Ireland. So they ended up there. So uh, Cornwall's actually a Celtic type nation. Well, it's not really a nation. It, it, I think people like to think that it is or want it to be. There is like a weird independence movement. Uh, that would be completely disastrous for us as, uh, as Cornwall. Uh, like completely, because we just don't have the economy to support on that, and we get quite a bit of money from England. Um, but um, yeah, it's like a it's like a Celtic little kingdom, though. Uh, to be fair, most of the time, like days, you know, like my, most places, you know, because um, it's quite a nice place to to live. Um, it's quite sunny, especially in the summer. It's, it's really nice in the summer. It's where we had the G7 actually. Uh, so the G7 came down down to Cornwall and St Ives. Um, so that's why people might know of it. Um, to be fair, I should have restarted with that, that would have helped. Uh, it feels like a lifetime ago now, even though it was, you know, not too long ago at all. Um, we can actually move that onto that side, can't we? Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out as we go. Uh, would you want your back to people? No, you wouldn't want that. You would... So I'm trying to think logically, as weird as it sounds, I'm actually trying to think logically about placement of a table. You wouldn't want your, you know, to have your back to people, you'd want to be sat there, and if you saw people coming around, that doesn't really matter, that doesn't bother you. Not really, I, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, whereas I think if you were sat here, then that would bother you, people coming around. I, maybe that's just me. Um, I think it's probably just me, to be fair. But yeah, a um, little bit of a Celtic county uh, in England. Um, there is a weird independence movement, like I was saying, uh, but it's honestly is would be so stupid. Um, it, it would wreck the economy, um, which you know, it's just basically tourism. Um, there isn't anything really down here. Um, hopefully, um, at some point, due to uh, we've got quite a lot of lithium, so hopefully they'll at some point do some lithium mining. That would bring in some, but it won't bring in huge amounts of money for the actual the whole economy. Really, it's um, it's not something that would would make a massive difference, uh, make a massive difference to the company and quite a handful of workers, quite a few workers, but overall wouldn't really wouldn't really benefit everyone. Cool, there we go, that's looking good. Sorry, that was a bit of a long, long thing. I'm from Ireland and currently live in Scotland. There you go, and a fellow Celt, although uh, admittedly I just sound like I'm English, so that's the only thing. Um, it's weird, because, um, yeah, there are Cornish people down here with very strong strong accents, but it's kind of faded out over, over years, I think. It's uh, strange. I don't know. It's just everybody everybody I went to school with spoke like me, so simple. Oh, and Cheese Biscuits has an English accent. Fair enough, then. Maybe it's just a thing. Maybe it's just, like, TV or, or something. It just kind of happens, or... God knows. It's weird, isn't it? Right. Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, so I'm going to plonk those in there now. This looks way better um, than, it, than it did before, because it was just empty before. So we've now got this down here. This looks proper dingy and dark, though. I kind of like it, though. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Then up here, it's a little bit lighter. Um... Definitely having the rooms split it up, so that comment from my past self was good. We've got the kitchens now, a really good shout by uh, Leonid, uh, that was good. Um, and nice little conferency room thing, I don't know what it's called, it's got some toilets in there now. Uh, upstairs we'll have the inn's rooms, and then up above that is the inn quarters and staff rooms, anything like that, so obviously the, the landlord will probably end up being here because they just don't stop working really. Uh, generally, oh, it's a nice little view, isn't it? Not quite nice little views. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So, yeah. Uh, right. But it says, uh, I'd like to hop on, but because of a bet, I had to change my username and the whitelist doesn't know me anymore. Oh. Oh dear. Well, why did you do that bet? <laughs> um, but send me a private message on, on Discord and I'll sort that out for you. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's the way that Minecraft works. So there is this like unique user identifier, UUID, in the back end. And um, uh, most permissions, like plugins, don't seem to do use that, but they don't seem to like update afterwards, even though they could check. There is a way for you to check, from what I remember. Weird. Very weird. So, yeah. Um, Oscar Court says, are you going to do more Star Wars builds soon? Um, it's one of those, so I've been, I'll show you, actually, it'll be a lot easier. Um, 
so I have to remember what the commands are. Even though, you know, like, I do that most of the time. Um, it's been, it's only been like a couple weeks since I've really taken a break. So, but I've forgotten everything, as you, as you do, I've forgotten everything. Um, so the next Star Wars one will be Millennium Falcon, but at double scale. So I've got to finish it. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, it's currently just out of stone, and it's just out of stone slabs and stairs. Um, but as you can see, like there's bits like here where I need to actually go. Actually, does is there an outer block there, or do I need to to slab it up? So I need to have a look at kind of the detail parts. Underneath is is just blocks. Um, it's just really basic straight structure, and just blocks. But um, that will be the next one that comes out. That will be a very long tutorial. I expect this will be like two or three or four hours or something. Because um, it's it's bizarre, like you, you double the scale of it and it, it ends up being huge. But the cockpit, um, I'm way happier with this cockpit than the than the one to one scale. I mean, this this feels much more like you can actually sit at it and and stuff. So yeah, it's just getting the um, where did I punch a hole? Mm. I punch it up here. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't sure if I did it underneath or up up there. But um, yeah, it's just getting the um, motivation to to do it because I just know that it's going to take like four odd hours. Uh, whereas at the minute, like, you know, if I if I take, for example, uh, was it this ship, the one I did recently, that was like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and you look at that, and it's quite a bit bigger, and it's a lot more complicated um, <laughs> than that. <laughs> or, or you take the Queen Anne's Revenge, and it's like, it's bigger than the Queen Anne's Revenge, so it's going to take a long time to do. Um, at some point, I think probably when I do the 1.17 upgrade, I will start doing... Um, the like redoing all the all the little ones like the Tie Fighter type stuff. I know I did a, a double scale one, um, but now that we've got uh, slate and stuff like that, um, and Blackstone and all those kind of things, we can do some other stuff as well as have started doing little bits of modern vehicle tutorials. Because at some point, I don't know when. Again, I don't know when I'll get around to doing any of this. Have started to at least look at doing some of the um, like uh, uh, different trucks for cities that I can just plonk down. Uh, and I might as well tutorial. These are these are much easier to make, though. So it takes quite a long, 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 long time. Um, so you know, I think this I've already sunk eight hours into, um, and it's no, it's like not even halfway done. It's not got any real little details in it. So yeah, it's one of those. It just takes too, too much time. If I was doing this full full time, it'd be a different matter. But apparently, I can just walk to there now. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing not doing YouTube full time, and I won't be. I don't think ever. Um, I don't think I'll ever do it. So, yeah. Uh, Sandra says some more wall decoration, maybe. Yeah, it does need something, doesn't it? We can do that. We can plumb that in. This is the building, by the way. Not that you can really tell. Um, I think I can just tell because I built them all. I don't. I don't think there's any. <laughs> there's any telling details. I think oh, actually it's orange, isn't it? So it's got the little orange tint into it. Uh, but yeah, we'll grab a um, some paintings because we have got those on the bottom floor. Um, so I might as well put them somewhere else. It feels a little bit laggy. Yeah, it shouldn't be laggy. There we go. That'll do there. Yeah, that'll do there. I'll do that. Something like that. Spam some details. I'll do. So, yeah. Sorry, sorting out my leads, which are wrapped around my foot for some bizarre reason. Um. What am I doing in the next episode? Uh, so, I can't remember. Um, was the last episode around here? If so, it's these couple of buildings here, and then there's another episode there. And then the next episode's here, then maybe here, then maybe here. Then probably here. I don't know. You'll see. You have to wait. It's on Saturday. The good news is it'll come up on Saturday, so um, I haven't got any more ship tutorials to do at the minute. So, um, I've got enough of the Lord's War episodes that I can put them up weekly, which is good. Uh, sometimes I just have to put a ship tutorial up because I haven't got one. I haven't got a Lord's War episode. So if I've got a ship tutorial, I'll put that up instead. Um, but that's what we'll be doing. Some more some more stuff. 
in the back end and um, I can show you what I'm building at the minute which is just this area little little bit area here um, so I'm actually looking forward to it so you can see the kind of plan for it um, I've actually done a little plan with this one um, I went to a little little village called Clavelli not too long ago um, and it's got really like steep wandering kind of stuff going down so when I looked at this I was like I've got to do something similar <laughs> so they actually had like sleds that they uh, have on the cobbles which is crazy but it makes total sense and they and they do that now because you can't get a car down there at all. Uh, next episode is on the harbour again, I think. Fair dues. I know Bert, Bert's got insider knowledge, um, so all donators get access to all the episodes early. So as soon as I'm done with them, I put them up and um, and donators get to see them. So Bird will know more than I do, as, as bizarre as that sounds. Um, without me looking, anyway. So, yeah. Um, KM... KMS Turpits. I'm going to do a ship build similar to the H44 battleship anytime soon. No, I haven't done any like warships or battleships or anything like that um, for what four or five years. It must be it must be like four years now. Um, at some point, I I might do do something. Um, it's just not. I don't know. I think because I'm not doing any like modern builds at the minute, it's just not a driver for me. Like with the with the these kind of like sailing ships. I'm all over it. I'm like, yep, let's get that. Let's do that um, because they can like fit into the world. And before, when I was doing all the all the ships, it was because they fit into my world. I was building a nice little fleet, um, and that's kind of what was the driver for it. Now there's no driver for it. I mean, they don't they don't make any money. Honestly, they don't make any money, and they take they take ages. Um, I think the problem is now that my buildings come on a lot more, so they'll probably take twice as long to build, at least. Um, so that which is a long time. A long, long time. So, yeah, I probably know is the is the simple answer. Uh, if there is, it'll be a bonus. Um, oh yeah, I, oh god, I haven't shown you actually, guys. I can show you. I can give you a little tour because I've done some of the interiors here. Um, they're all pun names. Pun names are absolutely everything. Um, so, Brood Awakening, which is apothecary. So I threw a load of stuff into here. By the way, guys, if you do want like ideas for shops and stuff. I'm more than happy to do like little videos on it if I get quite a few. Um, but just thrown in quite a few things in here actually. It's all good. Um, we've got Julius Scissor. That's right, Julius Scissor. You gotta love that. Um, which is a barber's. So I was like, how do I do a barber's in like um, in default? And this is what I ended up coming up with. Um, so I've got it in the window. So you come in here, you have your hair cut or your, your beard cut or whatever. Uh, things like that. We've got the bookshop. What's that one called? Uh, Booked out. Yeah, that one wasn't so good. I need a better pun name than that. Um, but, you know, simple bookshop. You know, things like that. I think the tailor's quite good. So nice. Or so nice. That's so nice. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's got a little toilet as well on the side. No space is wasted in uh, in Lord's Port. Um, <laughs> so it's just like the couple gaps between two, two angle buildings. So we've got like, lots of materials and things like that. And I think this one actually has. Yeah, it does. Yeah. A little warehouse at the back as well, and that actually backs onto onto here. So I mean, that's a fantastic view. I mean, imagine that. But um, I expect they'd like that on lunch. They can at least go just straight at the back, you know, lock up the doors and whatever. Quite cool. So yeah, things like that. Lots of clothes, and I think that's it. Yeah, because then we come up to come up to the the pub that we're working on. So that's where I got to. Um, butcher wise, we will build a little butcher in here. So this is the the butcher area, and then we're going to have another area at the back here. So that's going to be the kind of room but they'll mostly sell things on their on their stand out front I expect um, and only really go in for for other stuff definitely but you know quite interesting an F1 fighter jet next build tutorial possibly nope definitely not <laughs> like I said with the modern stuff um, it doesn't make money it I have to be building something that, that makes it more interesting, you know, makes it fit with the world. I do need to continue doing the other stuff. Anyway, I'm, st I'm not building at the minute. I could do this. I could be building and answering questions, couldn't I? So I better get to that. Let's get let's go upstairs and let's start building again. Um, but yeah, just no, there's no, you know, I haven't done modern tutorials for years. Um, that's That doesn't look like it's going to change. Um, they just, they don't do well. Um, they really don't do well. But yeah. Um, Poltrum, when more conquest? Never. Uh, that's a nice and simple one to answer. Uh, never. Never, ever, ever. Um, problem with conquest is it takes so much time to do everything. It really does. It takes a very long time. Um, should we have the walkway? So we've got to 
So I'm trying to figure out where we're going with this. And that'll answer the conquest question. I'll explain why. What do we want to do? Why do we want the rooms? So kind of down the centre, I think. Because then we can have rooms either side. Because it's quite a big space. So we'll do that. For sure. Yeah, definitely. Because then we can put a room in here as well. These are going to be quite good, nice rooms. Um, yeah, so on the conquest side of things. Yeah, it, I just... Um, with Conquest, it just it's a fantastic mod, do not get me wrong, it is absolutely amazing. As far as mods go, it, it's one of the best, um, without a doubt. It is one of the best mods that's out there, especially for builders, without a doubt, one of the best, right? So I'm not dissing at all uh, Conquest. Um, the problem for me is, it takes too long to build. Um, I, I don't have, you know, I'm not doing YouTube full time, if I was, uh, things could be different. Um, do you want to make it this thin? No, I think I need to... I'm going to make it double wide. Um, yeah, for me, with with work and things like that, I, I maybe at most have two to three hours a week. At most, two to three hours. That's about it. Um, that's not a lot of time. So if I was doing it in Conquest, I'd never finish anything. So that's why Hemburg never got finished. And Hemburg is a lot smaller than this place. A lot, lot smaller. Um, but never finished. So simple as that. Um, really, there's not... There's not really too much else. Um, these are going to be quite big rooms. Should we do big rooms at the back and small at the front? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do these really nice, fancy rooms. Um, but it is a fantastic mod. It's just, um, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't fit what I want to do these days um, at all, you know, which is which is other things. The other, the other side of it is, um, is audience-wise. So um, people don't watch you as much. Because there's a lot of con uh, console viewers, lots of people on on uh, PE as well. So uh, the Pocket Edition. Um, don't think P I don't think they call it PE. It just sounded weird when I said it. Um, a lot of people on you know Pocket Edition or other things. Most of them are using just default text pack. Um, that's where people watch you. So if if you've got that text pack and you're using that text pack, um, people tend to watch you more. Um, so in terms of like moving forwards, it's it's a no-brainer, you know, it's like a, a niche market. Uh, oh, actually, we can go around here, can't we? That might be a nice... If we put in a little stairway that way. Now I can make use of this as a little storeroom. Um, I'm just going to keep it open, though. I'm not going to close it in. Um, so there's that's the, that's the kind of reasons. And I'll, I'll never go back to it. Uh, honestly, I've not regretted it. Um, you know, there's been some times where I've been like, you know... I, when, I, when I see builds of Conquest, I'm like, whoa, that looks awesome. That looks so incredible. That looks, like, amazing. Um... And, you know, that is never going to really change, I don't think. You know, it, it, is a, it is a fantastic mod. And the, the people that are able to utilize it properly, um, it becomes more of like an art, arty type looking thing. It looks, it looks fantastic. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not dissing the, the Conquest mod. It's actually not the mod itself. It's, um, it's more my preference on what I want to do with... With Minecraft, with the channel, um, you know, I want to have, want to be successful as a channel. Um, you know, since since not doing Conquest, my views have gone up. Um, it has made a difference um, for sure. So it's one of those. Um, it shouldn't do, but it does. And uh, it's because of it's because of the accessibility and because of the familiarity that people already have with with default. That is the main thing. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not going the wrong way. That is the right way. I think that just didn't look right. <laughs> right, okay, let's go from here then. If we go two and two there, there we go. I'm just trying to figure out and beam for it. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't um, ask me some more questions, I'm more than happy to answer questions in general. General uh, Scott Lucky, are you doing all of the interiors? Because that would be insane to me. Um, I'm going to give it a good go. I mean, I'll do it. A li like, I think what will probably happen with the interiors in this place is I'll do all of the interiors for the main like shop type parts of it so the shop fronts uh, or like the merchant's guild things like that um, because what I, I really like doing I mean this is a little bit different because the inn has got rooms and things like that so it might be we go to the top floor and we just leave it blank and that's it it'll never get done but um, as long as like the shop fronts you know if you if you're wandering around and you actually go in and you go oh look, it's a bookstore and it actually looks like a bookstore and it's got like a cool little floor pattern and uh, or here's a close and close store. Oh, that looks really cool. Or here's a bakery, and you go in and you, it looks like a bakery. Um, then that's cool. What I don't like is when you go into like a place like this, and you go, oh, oh, that's a shame. Oh, that looked kind of cool. It looked like quite a focal point of uh, of this town, and it's blank. There's nothing there. 
that's what I don't like. So that's that's the whole goal of um, of doing some interiors. So, but you know, the upper floors of that wouldn't matter as much. So that would not matter as much. So that's that's what I'm thinking with interiors. But you know, we can do like a almost like a bottom floor shop front main building type thing. And then if we get time, we do other ones. Or if I fancy doing it or punishing myself, uh, then we'll do that. But um, they're pretty nice chilled out episodes, so I can chat to you guys anyway doing these things on streams. It, it kind of fits the live stream format quite nicely. Um, I did think about doing like the, the time lapsey type stuff for episodes, but then um, if I'm ahead by a couple episodes, it, then you get to see stuff early and it might, I don't know, it might ruin it for some people. Or, you know, it wouldn't make us, those videos wouldn't do as good. Or, do you know what I mean? There's, there's loads of other stuff to think about when, um, when doing that. Um, but I also quite like doing those in the in the evening after work when I'm just like exhausted uh, and I just want to put some blocks down, do you know what I mean, and watch some um, ancient aliens <laughs> or some other other crap like completely terrible uh, conspiracy th like theory stuff that I end up watching. God knows why I'm watching this stuff. Uh, I don't believe it at all, but um, <laughs> I just find it fascinating. I just find it really interesting. So that's the reason I end up watching those kind of things. But uh, yeah, so who would have known? Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking, guys. So hopefully that makes sense for stuff and things. There's other things we could um, live stream as well. Obviously, we can do uh, do other games and play other games. Because uh, as, as you've probably seen, I've been mixing some of those into the channel. I don't care if they only get one view at all as well with those ones. Um, it's something I've been meaning to do for ages and just never got around to, which is just actually play some other games and um, like I'm sure you guys are the same where on on Steam when there's a Steam sale you you go and um, you spend some money on on a load of games and you never play them and uh, and at some point you go why did I even bother buying that um, and I've, I've got quite a few in my library like that so what I'm doing is I'm playing them uh, folk folktale to be fair wasn't too bad it's just a shame it didn't get finished uh, Max Drekel loved the fake science and age it's fantastic man I, I absolutely love it uh, there's bits of it that I'm like, hmm, okay, actually, yeah, that's that's pretty weird. You know, there's there is quite a lot in there that I do think that's odd. Um, there's nothing in there that I've gone that's aliens, like um, you know, it makes it totally possible there's humans and things like that. I mean, people are crazy anyway. Do you know what I mean like we're we're completely mad? Um, you, I mean, you look at the super yachts and things like that, and um, if you found like a super yacht in the future, you'd be like. Who would build this? There's no purpose for building this. Do you know what I mean? We'd be like completely confused by this. Why would they do this? <laughs> Must be aliens. Do you know what I mean? We'd be totally be like that, I think. Um, but uh, you know, it's just it's just fascinating. It's awesome. It's a good bit of fun, and uh, it's funny to watch. Well, it's not really funny to watch. I think it's just relaxing. It's just like it's all of that stuff's just good. Moon landing, though. Don't get me started about the moon landing, man. I I've, I've got some ideas on that moon landing. Um, actually, I, I think America did go to the moon, by the way. But I think that some of the footage is fake. So that's my that's my that's my conspiracy theory side of it. Yeah, I know. Um, it's just because the the lighting on some of it and some of the landscapes in the background look exactly the same um, as other areas of the moon. It just is a little bit odd. So that's why I think it's that. But and it makes sense to me if you had already. I think what would have happened is America wanted to win it. They want to do it by the end of the decade. Uh, decade, <laughs> not decade, but um, I want to do it by the end of the decade, and um, I think they would have had some backup footage just in case they couldn't actually achieve that. It would make a lot of sense to do that, and also it would make a lot of sense to to see how your equipment's working and things like that in in like um, in Nevada desert, things like that would make total sense at night. It looks very similar. Um, and maybe the footage was terrible on the moon, and um, like the lighting wasn't very good, um, so they they used bits of other footage to 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 use. Still, it would be quite a lot of effort, so I don't know. Who knows? Madness. Anyway, uh, sorry guys. Um, how long is it to the next Lil, uh, Lordsport episode? It'll be out on next Saturday, so they will pretty much be every Saturday until I run out. Um, and when I run out, then there'll be something else, and that'll be it. Nice and simple. Uh, what mods have I got to solo action ass? Um, shaders, so Optifine with Zeus shaders. Um, not like PG, PTGI or whatever it is, the, the Patreon one. Um, I haven't got that one. 
but um, I've got just the normal one on the on the website for free. And that one. Um, and what can we put in a bedroom? I know this, I know this sounds like stupid, but I have not done a bedroom interior for like six months. So let me just have a sneak look at one that I did earlier, and we'll have a look. But yeah, I've got that, and the other mod that I've got is um, the mod minimap one, which is uh, voxel map. Which voxel map, honestly, I I used to be all over Ray's mini minimap. I would have sung Ray's minimap's praises to the moon and back. It was fantastic, but um, I actually think these days, oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's a nice high high ceiling. Um, I think these days, actually, I prefer prefer. Um, well, I do prefer voxel minimap. I don't know why. I, I think it's just it's a little bit smoother. I think that's why you can render out the whole map um, and do things like that. So I think you can. <laughs> oh, it's got the multi-world thing as well. That is that's pretty good to be fair. That's a really weird little bookcase there. I, this is not a good good one to have as an example. It's like really early like stuff and nice little kitchen things. Yeah, so just basic bath uh, bedrooms, really, isn't it? It's not things to be fancy with them. Good idea with the sign past me. I mean, uh, the amount of stuff that you forget in Minecraft is ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. Um, so, Owen Bainbridge, how do you get custom heads to use for detail? Um, so that is a website called uh, Minecraft Heads, actually. And um, all you need is a command block. And it, it gives you the command for it. You plumb that into the, or you just whack that into the command block. You press a button, and a head gets spat out, and that's it. There's no plugin needed. Um, you can get a plugin. You can pay for one um, with Minecraft heads, where you will get like a nice GUI and you just click on stuff and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I, it's not what I do. So yeah, it's quite interesting. It's quite cool. Right, where were, which room were we? Hey, thank you very much, Wounters, for following on Twitch. Really appreciate it. There we go. And also, guys, thank you for all of you guys that are watching right now. We've got uh, three people on Twitch, and we got 58 on YouTube. That is amazing. That is so awesome. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, if you do have questions and things like that, whack them in the chat. I will try to answer them um, if I can. You know, it's one of those. I'm still working all my way through comments, though. So uh, if I do miss you, I apologize. That's just loads. There we go. Smoke0955 is now following me on Twitch as well. Thank you very much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Um, yeah, so what else have we got? Uh, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. James Dean always enter live streams when it's already halfway through. I know, it's annoying. It, it doesn't help that um, uh, I'm not, not very good at actually telling people about it. So like, I didn't tweet. I don't think I've tweeted about it unless it came out automatically um, or done anything else like that. I, I just, it just comes up. I didn't even plan really. I was thinking like, oh, I might actually do a live stream. I've been meaning to do that for ages. Thank you very much, Darren Tech, for following. Um, yeah, I was like thinking, you know, oh, we could put a little, um, little cupboard in here. This is where angled buildings come in handy. You know, never thought I'd say that, but they do, don't they? Because you can then put in little little cupboards and things. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, let's let's do a live stream, and um, usually like something comes up, just something comes up, and I just can't do it. Um, so that's why I don't tweet about them or or plan them or have the scheduled events or anything like that. That will do for an interior. That looks all right. I'm happy with that. There you go. Oh, we could put a... No, they've got a little cupboard. They'll put the stuff in there. Yeah, we don't need anything else. Um, but yeah, um, it'll be a, a video on demand anyway. All of, the, all of my videos, uh, live streams, will be on demand as normal. Thank you very much, Shamini1, for following me on Twitch. Thank you very much. Oh... Mr. Russian dude um, says, why is the minimap cut in half? This is very true. Why is it cut in half? Let's try this. How very, very odd. Let me sort that out. It's going to look a little weird for a second. <laughs> oh, that's so strange. Okay, I guess it's because I've not got it full screen. So I could do that. That'd work. I think it's because I haven't got Minecraft full screen. So that's the reason it's cut in half. Does that look alright? Let me know if that looks alright or not. Um, if it doesn't, I can I can switch it around. I can move stuff around anyway. Um, but that at least... Yeah. 
Yeah, because that's the bottom of my screen. Yeah, so I could stretch it a little bit. Um, let me just stretch it. Tell you what, let's just... I'll sort that out as well. I, I will get this working. There we go. That'll do for now. That should look good. <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Wounters. Sorry, somebody did just message me as well. Thank you all you guys that are coming back on, over onto me for Twitch as well. Uh, definitely. Definitely really appreciate that. Shamini, no one's everyone else pronounced your name right. Ah, okay. Damn. Does that mean I got it wrong or right, though? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, is this world 1.17? If so, candles look good in this room. It's not yet. No, I'm I'm waiting until um, waiting until all plugins and mods and all that kind of stuff is up and running, and I get the time to to actually switch over to it. That's the other thing. I mean, it's always it's one of those things where it's like, oh, this would be great. We could do this. Yes. Um, I think that looks dumb actually. Um, let's put this over here. I want to have like a little little seat and things in in most rooms if I can. I just quite like the idea of it. Um, oops. Have a nice little thing there. Let's just have that there, and any one of those. Oh, that means I don't need this up here either. There you go. I need some. I need some things. I've not got enough blocks, have I? That's what I need. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, one. Yeah, so I've got to wait until all my mods and things are uh, up to date. Then we'll then we'll go forwards from there. Um, then it'll be 117, and yes, candles, I'm looking really forward to them. Really, really looking forward to them. I think that'd be cool. Um, Winters, what block combos would you suggest for roofs? And yes, I realise that I'm, my reading of the chat is all over the place. It's just whatever I see, uh, I'll read, and if I haven't read it already. So, um, go with whatever you want. Um, so for this, for Lordsport, I went with total variation. I went with, I'm going to have lots of random roofs around, and I'm going to try out different things. I'm going to see what works, and that will make me happy. So um, that's kind of what I went with. So um, with, like, this green one, um, I decided to go with, uh, you know, like, dark oak. And then I had spruce. So I had dark oak under my win for the top of my windows. And then with spruce, you could also go with dark oak and then go with, like, the, uh, the whatever this thing is, dark cobble thing, uh, black cobble. Whoever knows what that thing is. Um... Dark oak and spruce always go. Uh, spruce and oak always go. Same with dark oak and jungle. Almost always go. This way round doesn't go. Um, but I put it in anyway for purely for variation. And this was a grey dull building. So I was like, I'm going to make it a grey kind of dull looking ro roof. Well, it's not grey, but you know, I'm going to make a dull looking roof. So that's what I wanted to do with that one. But honestly, go with whatever you want. Uh, dark oak and yeah, this blackstone I think looks the best. Um, it looks really good with like bright colours. So if you have like a yellow, uh, red, or um, or anything else, something something that something that's quite vivid, strong colours uh, will really work. I uh, don't know what else I got. Um, here we go. So fancier looking buildings. Uh, I, I like brick all the way. Um, it just usually if you've got either uh, some sort of like marbly type thing, the quartz or sandstone, brick will always look good. It just contrasts really nicely against it. And you can do some like nice interesting things of it. Um, for slumsy type areas, um, just mix up all the different types of woods. So that's all I've done there. And as you can see, I've, I've just variated some of them, even when I, like I said, I don't like some of the mixes like that um, birch as well I've put in that one. I think this is the only birch building, by the way. I don't, I don't think there's another birch building. You can go with cobblestone as well, um, if you want to. It's totally up to you, but, you know like play around with things and if it doesn't look good change it um it takes time but yeah play around with it change it switch it out if you if you think ah that'll do then that'll do it's so like this one was exactly one of those with cobble and then with um with stone brick i went that'll do and it, it looks okay because it's kind of variated in with a load of other stuff but i actually hate this roof completely i hate the colors of it i hate the flatness of the slabs on top but it'll do <laughs> So sometimes you just have to do that because people don't really notice unless you point it out like I have done multiple times. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, right. This is not Minecraft RTX. No, it's not. Not at all. Reese Rockstar. Um, 
Java or Bedrock? Java. Java, 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 and will be Java forever. Um, reason being mods, um, you know, like replay mod won't work on Bedrock, can't have it on Bedrock. Um, which is crazy because Microsoft so could have built a modding API when they redid it. When they redid the whole other thing, they redid it and wrote it, wrote it in, I um, can't remember if it was C++, I'm pretty sure it's was C++, but it was all .NET net based stuff from what I remember. Um, they really could have built a really good modding API off of that, without a doubt. Um, I mean, it's a bit weird that they rewrote it in the first place, but, you know, meh, whatever they wanted to do. But yeah, mods, um, like, I mean, it's just simple things like this, do you know what I mean? Like, they haven't got that in the game, and they really should, and it'd be good if they did, because it's, um, it's like a nice little map, you know? It's cool. You can see people where they are, and things, and... I don't know. Showzilla. Old news name was Shula. How's it going, man? Hey, Shula. I'm still going to call you Shula. Because um, I, I remember you as Shula. So. You're the one that started all the angled buildings. So he's he's the problem. Shula is the, <laughs> Shula's the reason. When the angled building craze started with me, anyway. There are mods on Bedrock. There aren't mods on Bedrock. There's reskinning and there's... Um, you can, there is a little bit of Node.js that you can play around with. It's not real mods. You can't add new blocks. You can't... Um, you can't do things like replay mod, those kind of stuff. You can't do it. Um, so I've, I've looked into the Node node stuff. Um, it, it's kind of like behavioral stuff. So you could like change a creeper, you could change its skin, and you could change the way that it behaves to talk to you or something like that. That you could do. Um, what you can't do is add a brand new mob. So, you know, you can add a... a giraffe into the game. Um, well, actually, you can, technically you can because you could reskin it again, change its behavior. But that's about it. You know, it, it doesn't allow you to do it. It's a replacement rather than anything else. So, yeah. That's why I say that it's not modding. It's, it's lies. And plus, they charge for it as well. They charge you for it. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Totally different model, you know? I get it. Like, you know, Microsoft spent a lot of money on Minecraft, buying it, um, but still, it, I'm I'm very about the whole thing, really, if I'm honest, uh, about Bedrock in general. <laughs> I don't know why, I just I just don't, don't get on with it. Um, I've got Minecraft um, Pocket Edition, you know, and I've done a couple, like, little simple builds on there. To be fair, I've actually got some of those that I need to tutorial. There's a couple of Dwarven builds that I've actually got. Uh, which I actually built specifically on on the uh, on the mobile device for, for tutorials, and I, I never got around to it. Let's put that there as well. I can actually, rather than putting that there, I'm going to put a lantern on this now. That'll do. Da -da -da. Uh, Darrow Dak on Twitch says, uh, with East Point being so huge already, I wonder how the entire city is going to look finished. I know. Um, if I get that far, it will look amazing. Uh, I say if, because, you know, it's, it's big. But, you know, you guys can now kind of see the scale of it with, with East Point in mind, which I know you haven't seen. I know something you guys have asked on the comments, by the way. I'm not ignoring you. It's just, um, I was thinking about doing a, a one where I got to the next section. So we need to name this anyway. But it's quite big. Shozilla, thank you very much for following me. Or Shula, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. We've now got up to 70 people now. So 63 people on YouTube and 7 on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm live on there as well. Um, I'm trying it out again. I know that I stopped doing it when I was, I was um, uh, streaming before. It's mostly because of like low numbers on Twitch. But if I, if I do get into regular streaming, then... Um, it would be really good to get partnered with Twitch. It really would. Um, it really would. But yeah, this is the there's the size of the whole thing. So this area here, this is the barrier for this section. This is huge. This section. Uh, but if I put a cathedral in it, that'll be like that much room. You know, that it'll, it'll take up ch giant chunks of it. Uh, lots of stuff on the docks. This area here is relatively small compared to everything else. I mean, it's actually it's the same size as these points. So I say it's relatively small. It's not. And then I'll go around to there. Um, how much of the plaque do I plan to cover? Um, so, uh, like, my Patreons have been building on here. So we've got quite a few builds going on. I haven't loaded up the whole map, haven't been around everywhere. It's like Bird has been building, I can't remember what the name is. It's actually got a vineyard in there, actually, to be fair. 
know somebody was asking about vineyards before, but there is some in there. Uh, Yakanan, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Um, but yeah, we got that whole bit around there. Uh, Riverside, there's this thing. I can't remember who's built this. I need to go and check and knock some blocks and stuff. I think Bird's building this area down here. This is his next project. He did some like terraforming as well. So a lot of it's actually pretty filmed. Uh, clipped off all the way over here. Actually, yeah, you guys haven't seen where, where it is in relation to it. So there's a little way through the valleys. I think I was going to do one around here, one through here to get to get to everywhere. Um, Yupin, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. But yeah, all of that kind of stuff. Cool. Give AP light to 15. Um, light blocks haven't got them. I'm currently on 1.16. So they don't exist. They don't exist. Most people play Bedrock because on all, all on mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and Windows 10 are all Bedrock. Yeah, the Windows 10 edition is Bedrock, but um, but um, you can just yeah get Java on on Windows. Um, I've actually got both. I've actually got Bedrock as well. I was playing around with the, the Node API to to do like what. They call mods, but aren't. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they're not mods. Um, from from doing you know DC blocks mod a while ago, the 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 kind of things that you can do in it are are changing things. You can't you can't really make any actual changes if that makes sense. That really didn't make any sense at all. But you know what I mean. Hopefully, right, we can actually have a nice little sitting area in here, can't we? Oh yeah, it's gonna be quite a nice little area actually. This one's this one's a very nice room. I would not mind this myself. Like as a hotel room, I mean, you know. Yeah, let's put a little little thing in there. A couple hooks as well. And then let's extend this up. So if we put in a couple slabs or something. Actually, no, that works as a roof, doesn't it? Ceiling thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. That'll do. Um, so do stuff like that. Wait. This is a server. Yes, it's my donator server. So um, anyone that donates to me gets access to the server uh, forever. So um, like Shula that was on earlier, uh, who was saying uh, has access to the server as well as the Discord server. So once you're a donator, forever donator, um, the base donator role just allows you to basically wander around and build in plots. That's kind of it. Um, I just always, you know, if you donated once to somebody, I kind of feel like you should kind of get something back forever, if that makes sense. And it doesn't cost me anything, really. I'm already paying for the server. Um, the higher tiers and things like that are uh, Patreon's build, uh, which is why, like every so often, you'll see a, a nice little tour video comes up um, from one of their builds, really, because there's quite a few really good ones. I mean, Bird's done loads. Uh, Serene Capuchin as well. He did one, a very nice one. His Dwarven stuff, not too long ago. I think that was the last tour that I did. Something like that. Can I do a world tour? No, no. But um, in the Pataria series, there is, uh, and also as a playlist for all the tours. So they're like individual places like Clipped Off, which is this little town here. There's a tour for that. Um, same with Arcliff, which is around here, I think. Um, and and all those kind of places. They'll just be individual videos on because they're usually they're usually about one to two hours long. Probably. Something like that. Yeah, probably one to two hours long. I think I might move this table. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move this table. I think we need it somewhere more. Yeah, because then you can, like, you know, sit down there. You can almost do with, like, a little little table here then, can't we? Don't have to fill everything up. Thank you very much, my Mastera2, for following me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. So, so there you go. Shoezilla or Shula. Um, yep, like me, a cool person. Exactly, Shula. You are a cool person because you donated to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I I just think you know. Some sometimes it will just be that you get read out, and that's kind of it, and that's that's absolutely fine for big YouTubers, I think, especially, or big Twitch streamers. To be fair, that's absolutely fine. You know, it's you that that's kind of like what you're paying for. You know what I mean? But um, I kind of think we well, should get access to all the behind the scenes stuff as well, because you might as well. Otherwise, otherwise, you just end up locking all that behind like pay and stuff, and I don't like it as much. I just don't. Like that way of thinking, um, I don't know. That's just what I think, but you know. Oh God! Thank you very much, Vampinzia. 
Philippines, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you do the X. X, yeah. <laughs> but thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Music you use is really nice. Is it no copyright? It isn't copyright at all. So it's by a guy called Vinswept. Um, there should be in the description um, all of the, the names of the songs that I've used for this. So um, for live streams, I'm using Vinswept. For my videos, I actually use something called Epidemic Sound. So I pay every... I pay every year um, to be able to use that that music on YouTube. I haven't set it up with Twitch yet, so that's the reason I'm not using it today. Um, if you know we do more streams, I will <clears throat> I will get that license. God, my voice went then. I'll get that my license ex extended to Twitch so that we can actually have some epidemic sounds in the background. There's some really cool tracks in there, like medieval tracks. Uh, but Vinswept is fantastic. I used to use it back in the Conquest days. And when I, I didn't have enough money to buy a license <laughs> or buy music, as sad as that sounds, but that's the truth, you know, it is the way it is. Um, you can only pay for what you've got. This looks good. I like this little room. Look at that. I'd be happy with staying in this, wouldn't you? What do you reckon? So, yeah. Right, so I don't know which side we went to. So over here we got another one. Yeah, so we got another one over there. Okie dokie, let's have a look at this building then. Or this building, this room then. There's not really a natural place for the double bed to go. <laughs> Which is really annoying me. Right, okay, I think we'll go with there. Um, we'll go with a little table th thing. Oh, God. Lag. No. Do not want lag. There we go, that's better. Right, so we'll go with that. Thank you very much, Lily Gemini fan, for following me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Let's go with something else. Um, so, Ed Delaney says... Um, Am I going to be watching the football tonight? Nope, not at all. Uh, it, has, it just doesn't interest me at all, as bad as that sounds. I know that I should be interested, because uh, like England hasn't got to this point in like a thousand years or whatever it is. Um, but it just doesn't doesn't do it for me. It doesn't leave it for me. I couldn't watch it. Um, I'll hear about it at work tomorrow. So, you know, if we win, awesome. I'll be quite happy for, for England in general. I think we would have done good. You know, we've done good to get this far. But um, in terms of watching it, it just... Just won't do it for me. Just won't do it for me at all. Can't watch it. Same with rugby. Can't watch it. Um, just fall asleep, I think, if I did. So, simple as that. Spoolie, how's it going, man? Hopefully I've said hello to everyone. Here from Shuzella. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lily Gemini fan. Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah. Uh, Steve, where do you work? Seems you did YouTube all full time. No, not at all. It's not even close. Um, oh wait, I've got. A... Oh, okay. Now I'm changing this. Um, no, not at all. No YouTube, no way near full time. Makes up about uh, five percent of my income. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of <laughs> of <laughs> how much YouTube actually earns. You can go on to um, a website, by the way, called Social Blade. If you're ever interested in how much people earn. Um, just go for the midpoint of whatever it says, because it says it'll say like you know between five and twenty-five dollars a second or something. Do you know what I mean? And um, it'll be right in the middle of there is is roughly what you people are going to be earning on YouTube. Um, some people will be earning more, of course, because they they have other stuff like merchandise, or they'll be doing Twitch as well, and um, uh, you know they'll they'll be able to get additional funds through that or sponsorships, those kind of things. Um, the stuff that I, I don't do, I don't do sponsorships at all. Um, I'm just not not into them. Um, I just think, you know, I, I'll probably play your game anyway and, and stuff, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I think about it rather than rather than anything else. Uh, let's put another cupboard in here for the simple reason that we can. I mean, but we'll do a, an actual smaller one. We can actually look smaller. There you go. That looks way smaller. That's good. Um, but yeah, that's... What's it saying? Yeah, you can kind of figure out from that. So I, I actually work for the NHS. So um, I am a health worker. Work in the health service for the UK. I think I'm done with that then. I'm actually done with this. So there's just two rooms. 
There's a room down here, isn't there? Yeah. Thank you very much, Voodoo Moosey, for following me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Let's do some pink beds. And yes, I am cycling through the bed colours, by the way. Uh, if, you if you haven't noticed that already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again. I could put it there. It's, it's pretty much similar to the one that we did a minute ago. This one. This... I'm guessing it's just the angles turned out, you know, the same. Um, let's go and grab some stuff. We could probably... Oh, lag, lag. No. Why is it lagging? It shouldn't be lagging. But it is. Now I put the lamp there. And we'll put in a little... I'm gonna... Yes, it is exactly the same. The layout is going to be almost exactly the same as the one we just did. Which is fine by me, because um, it looked okay. It wasn't amazing, but it looked okay. Hey, look at that. Shuzilla, formerly known as Shula, joined the game. So it does, it knows who you are, it just doesn't, doesn't give you any powers. That's so weird. Give me two secs, Shula. Um. Let me just grab the permissions that you had before, because then at least you can wander around and stuff like that. Actually, because you'll be able to see it on the editor. Oh, I can't find it then. Okay, it's fine. And I think... Oh, what's it called? I think it's that. I think it's that. I'm not totally sure. Yeah, it looks like you've changed in, well, I've changed your username as well. Um, give that a go. Shula, if you can, that'd be good. That'd be very good. Hopefully it does. So at least you can wander around, Shula. That'd be quite good. Right, there we go. Hey, there we go. I got it right. I wasn't too sure if I'd actually remembered what the um, what the things I need to add you to are, but uh, that is what I need to add you to. So that's all good, all working. Uh, my Mustera Two, what server is this? This is my donated server. So um, everything's running on my donated server. Um, so if you donate to me anyway, anytime, uh, you you can get access to my donated server. Um, if you're a Patreon, then you get to build. Um, if you're if you you know do the base donation thing, you can wander around, uh, have a look at things and um, things like that. We've also got behind the scenes um, videos, you get all the access to videos earlier, that kind of stuff. Uh, those are the kind of features that I've added into um, into it really. Um, so it's not not loads and loads, but it's, um, it's what I can do um, and things like that. So, you know, most of the time people will like donate uh, as a one-off, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I appreciate all donations, do you know what I mean? Don't, I'm not expecting anything at all. Um, but, you know, people do donate one-off, um, and then they can have a look and check up and wander around and see what they think of the little town and cities and things like that. Um, some people like to build, and um, I will accept your TP request in a second. I'm just going to grab a painting very quickly. And then they can have a look. There we go. Sorted. Howdy. You changed your skin as well. It's been ages. Ages since I've seen you. Cheeky TP, absolutely, yeah. I know, that it's, all, it's all mad now. It's been quite a while. I like that as well. That's incredibly, that's quite impressive that you've done that. <laughs> that's good. That's so funny. Right, I think we're done with this now, aren't we? There we go. I've now got an inn. There we go. I think someone was actually asking about have we got an inn in the thing. Oh yeah, we got this little storage area. Right, well, I'll get this storage area done quickly. That's not going to take me too long. Uh, and then that's at least good, isn't it? It'll be all quite good. Uh, composter, barrels, things. Any other blocks that I've got? Maybe. Maybe not. Crafting. Crafting table. Yeah, let's just put loads of random stuff in here, really, is going to be the main thing, you know. 
you'd hope that that's not, you know, as since I've been using this toilet, it's not actually a used one, but uh, you never know. <laughs> oh, I might actually, oh, I know what I can do. I can actually block this up a little bit, can't I? Because if we've got like, hmm. Invisible item frames are the OP for builds. I know. I started using them. There's one, Chula. There's one in um, uh, the Blacksmith, which is around the Iron Bank. It's the only place I've used it. The reason being that, um, unfortunately, with shaders, uh, any sort of item entities, any entities at all. Um, there you go. Yeah. Also, OP for lag. Yeah, exactly. You already you already know what I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, they do end up lagging stuff. Any, any sort of item frame does. So I've only used them in, like... At the minute, one place, I think. I think that's it. But, um, yeah, they are so good. A fantastic add, add addition to the whole thing. So what I was trying to do here is, if we go for, like, a... Make it look like a little... You know, like, a little cupboardy thing. I was going to have a place where people could gamble, and, um... By blocking it up, I've made it so small in here that you can't do it. Darn. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Uh, Ed Delaney, after last year, I wanted to thank all NHS workers, especially after my COVID illness. Oh, man. Sorry that you got it, and I'm sorry that um, you had problems with it. That sucks. Uh, but I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that you're over it. It's good. Uh, really good to hear. Um, but, yeah. Really appreciate it. Really, really, really appreciate it. It's been a tough year for everyone. That's the thing that you got to remember. Um, really has been a tough year. Oh, we could do something cool with this. I'm going to think about it. Now I'm thinking about it, we can do some pretty neat things, can't we? Like like a little thing like that. Because we've not got much light coming into here. This allows the natural light to come in just about. Obviously, then people can see them slacking off and things. But, you know, it's. I think we'll just turn this into a normal cupboard. But it makes it look like a cool little cupboard now. You know? Yeah. Make a dock. Already got nice big amounts. Lots of episodes on it on the channel as well. Um, um, which level of Patreon includes building within Pataria? That is just the, the normal Patreon one. Um, all of the perks and all that kind of stuff's all listed on. Um, you can either do it on YouTube membership or you can do it on Patreon. Patreon is always my preferred way of going. The reason being, YouTube doesn't allow me to message you. Um, it doesn't give me a notification. It doesn't allow me to message you. Um, it allows me no way to verify that you are who you are when people message me on Discord. So I've got this like really rubbish method of um, of getting people to comment with a random random code. Um, so Patreon's always preferred purely because it's just easier. It just it just lets me know things because I, I checked the other day and I've got more people on as memberships. Um, like quite a few people on memberships on YouTube, I didn't even know about it. Um, and it just makes me feel like, like I, I think that then I'm being rude because it's like I've not thanked somebody for supporting me on a platform, but actually there's no way for me to ever find out <laughs> without looking on this manual list and then comparing it against the previous lists that I've had. And I have no way to say a thank you message. It just, it's, it's mad, honestly. They, YouTube needs to get their stuff together for it, for sure. Um, Absolutely crazy. Right, guys, I think we're pretty much there. We just need to name this in. That's the main thing, and then we can finish this off. I know that we've obviously got the upper floor uh, to do with the inn, but uh, I'm done. I'm done for the day for streaming. I don't want to stream too long where I get like exhausted and things like that. I'll just do it until I go, cool, I'm pretty tired now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to chilling out. Have got the innkeep, keeper's rooms, all that kind of stuff, but it's in the roof. Um... For the time being, you know, if people are exploring, they'll see this and they'll go, oh, it does look like it's got quite a big, nice big chunk of the interior in it, which is exactly what we need. So it's been quite good and quite enjoyable with you guys today, uh, for sure. So name-wise, name-wise for an inn, it needs to be a pun name, uh, pun, pub names, for sure. Um, so I'm not come up with one yet, so I think I'll probably go with sign, spruce sign, let's go with that. Oh, what ails you? That's quite a good one. I'm just googling them at the minute. Bar none. Brew Brothers. These some of these are like in in the US. A lot of these are US. Brew Brothers. 
Uh, Neil's Bar. Olive or Twist. That's, these are really good. These American ones are really good. The Red, White and Brew. The Worst Bar. Yep. Thirst and Hell. Wow. Wish you were beer. Oh, it's got to be Wish You Were Beer. That is so bad. It's good. <laughs> right. Wish You Were Beer. Um, <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Can I fit that on? It's only because the second line I've been filling now, I can't. The second line I have been putting, like, what the kind of place is. Um, but that's fine. There we go. Wish you were beer. We've now completed it. I'll name that episode it. You can't really see it very well in shaders, but um, um, that'll do for now. That looks all quite good. There we go. Right. So, guys. That's going to be it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little live stream. I definitely have, and I've really appreciated you coming on and supporting me, having a chat, seeing how you guys are doing, um, get a little bit of the interior done. Uh, obviously, we're nearly done with one building. Um, we've got a couple to go. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little, little while to do this, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Uh, really appreciate you guys chilling out. And um, yeah, I'll put this as a video on demand, so if you want to catch it up later on, you can do. And... Uh, see what we've been up to and things like that but uh yeah episode on saturday for the next episode of the laws port whatever it's called thingy live streaming not live streaming replay time lapse there you go and it's good to see you again shula as well and you coming onto the server again it must have been ages since you come on but at least that's all sorted now so anyway guys thank you very much i will see you on the next